So we've seen that the factor theorem can do a lot for us in helping us to solve um, cubic equations. Now, there's also uh, something called the remainder theorem. Now, we've talked about remainders before because they came up um, when we were looking at polynomial division. And the remainder theorem says that when f of x is divided by x minus a, the remainder is f of a. So this is the remainder theorem. Now, what that means is that if I substitute in a number, so I can choose any number I like now, then this is the same number that I would get if I divided the polynomial by x minus a and used polynomial division. Now, the remainder theorem isn't a particularly useful um, bit of uh, kit, but it kind of goes alongside the remainder, th uh, the factor theorem rather. They kind of work in tandem because sometimes you're going to substitute numbers that are going to work and sometimes you're going to substitute numbers that won't work. So some will give you equal zero and some won't. So if this was my f of x, then let's choose a number like, um, well, let's say, well, we know that the factors from previous videos are x minus 1, x minus 2, and x minus 3. So if I substitute in either 1, 2, or 3, I know that I'm going to get 0. So let's have a think about substituting in minus 1. So if we think about f of minus 1, then we have minus 1 cubed, take away 6 lots of minus 1 squared, plus 11 lots of minus 1, take away 6. So that's minus 1, um, take away 6, uh, minus 11, plus 6. Oh, sorry, minus 6. OK. So we've got minus 1, take away 6, minus 7. Then we've got minus 18, so we've got minus 24. So this, so therefore, the remainder when f of x is divided by x plus 1 is minus 24. Okay, so that's kind of my concluding statement, similar to when I was doing the factor theorem. So let's see if I get the same thing when I do polynomial division. So I'm going to divide the polynomial by x plus 1. I need x cubed, so I'd have to have x squared there. x squared times 1 is x squared. I don't want x squared, I, mean, I want minus 6x squared, so I've got to take away 7x squared. x is into minus 7x squared to go minus 7x. Minus 7x times 1 is minus 7x. I don't want minus 7x, I want 11x, so I've got to add on um, 18x. X is into that, go 18. 18 times 1 is 18. I want minus 6, so I don't want 18, I want minus 6, so I've got to take away 24. And that is my remainder. So we can see that using polynomial division, I get the same number as I would if I substituted minus 1 into my polynomial. Okay, and this is the remainder theorem in action.